see anything here. All right. But we will at five. Okay, that sounds good. You don't mind a little dirt here and there, do you, Jay? For the first time man stepped foot on the moon, humanity's dream of establishing a new home amongst the stars has never been closer to reality. For years, we've gazed toward the stars, contemplating the colonization of other planets, and Mars often takes center stage in our cosmic ambitions. But today, mankind has taken a step further into our cosmic destiny. Martian exploration, our pursuit for a second home. Our story begins with humanity's age-old quest for a second home, a planet we can mold and transform to mirror Earth's welcoming embrace. Terraforming, the process of modifying a celestial body to make it habitable, is an idea that has tantalized scientists and visionaries for decades. Mars, with its rusty terrain and mystical allure, has long captured our imagination as a potential candidate for terraforming. With visions of domed cities and lush green landscapes dancing in our minds, it seemed like the ultimate frontier. But there's a conundrum, a cosmic paradox if you will. Terraforming Mars, as it turns out, is not as straightforward as science fiction would have us believe. One of the intricate challenges mankind faces in making Mars habitable is the thin atmosphere. Mars has an atmosphere so thin that breathing without assistance is impossible. Terraforming would require a colossal effort to thicken the atmosphere and provide a breathable mix of gases. Living on Mars could be extremely perilous due to minimal protection from harsh cosmic rays caused by the planet's thin atmosphere and lack of a magnetic field. Moreover, the planet's temperature conditions are also challenging for human settlement, with winters dropping to minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit and summers barely reaching 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Aside from the few mentioned, there is also a scarcity of water despite evidence of water ice, Mars remains parched. Extracting, storing, and distributing water for a growing colony would be a monumental task. Here's where the moon steps into the cosmic spotlight. Our celestial neighbor, often overshadowed by its bigger cousin Mars, is starting to make a case for itself as the more practical target for terraforming. Some celestial advocates oppose the idea of terraforming the moon, as they see it as a sacred body and worship it. The moon is a mere 240,000 miles away from Earth, while Mars is a staggering 34.8 million miles distant. This proximity offers swift travel and communication with our home planet. Although extremely thin, the moon's atmosphere contains elements like helium, neon, and argon that could be harnessed to create a more Earth-like environment. Lunar soil, or regolith, could be employed to construct radiation shielding habitats, offering safer living conditions. Recent discoveries suggest that the moon's poles hold significant deposits of water ice, a valuable resource for future colonists. Due to its proximity, terraforming the moon could be a quicker process, allowing us to establish a foothold for further cosmic adventures. Of course, terraforming the moon isn't without its challenges, as the moon's day and night cycles are each about two weeks long, presenting challenges for sustaining life and energy production. Lunar temperatures also range dramatically, from scorching days to freezing nights. Cosmic radiation on the lunar surface remains a concern, requiring innovative solutions, and has remained a big puzzle to astroscientists. The big puzzle is nicknamed the Cosmic Puzzle. As we contemplate the Cosmic Puzzle of terraforming, one thing is clear, both the Moon and Mars offer unique opportunities and obstacles. But NASA's renewed focus on our lunar neighbor signifies a strategic shift in our cosmic ambitions. Imagine the cosmos as a vast intricate puzzle. Stars, galaxies, and dark matter swirl in a mesmerizing dance. But there's a missing piece, a cosmic riddle that has stumped scientists for decades. We call it dark matter. It doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible. Yet, its presence is undeniable. The gravitational pull of dark matter shapes the universe we see. 
This enigma challenges our understanding of reality. What is dark matter? Where does it hide? Solving this puzzle could unveil the secrets of the universe itself. It's something we don't know what it is. So we just call it dark matter. We don't know what... The universe has some pressure in the vacuum that's making it accelerate in its expansion against the wishes of gravity. We don't know what that is either. We call that dark energy. This sounds like we know something. <laughs> we don't. I could call this Fred and Wilma, okay? It doesn't matter. We are dumb stupid about what these two things are. Diving deeper into the cosmic puzzle of terraforming, scientists are actively researching solutions to these challenges. Recent advancements in material science and engineering have paved the way for innovative radiation shielding, sustainable energy solutions, and even technologies to manipulate the lunar day-night cycle. The lunar surface, once considered inhospitable, is gradually revealing its potential. Research missions have provided valuable data on the moon's resources, topography, and geological composition. This knowledge is essential for planning future lunar colonies. NASA's Artemis program is at the forefront of these efforts. With ambitious goals to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon by 2024, Artemis is a testament to humanity's determination to explore and colonize. The Artemis program is not only about planting flags, but laying the groundwork for humanity's expansion into the cosmos. One of the moon's most enticing attributes is its wealth of resources. Recent discoveries have revealed that the lunar surface holds vast reservoirs of valuable materials, including rare metals like platinum, helium-3, and even water ice. Water ice, found primarily at the lunar poles, is a game-changer. It can be converted into drinking water, oxygen for breathing, and hydrogen for rocket fuel. This resource could significantly reduce the cost and logistical challenges of lunar colonization. Helium-3, a non-radioactive isotope rare on Earth, could revolutionize nuclear fusion. The moon is believed to contain substantial deposits of this valuable fuel. Harnessing Helium-3 for clean, virtually limitless energy generation is a tantalizing prospect. Beyond its potential for colonization, the moon offers a unique scientific laboratory. Its unspoiled surface preserves a record of cosmic impacts dating back billions of years. Studying these lunar scars can provide insights into the history of our solar system and the threats posed by near-Earth objects. The moon's lack of atmosphere means there's no atmospheric distortion, making it an ideal location for powerful telescopes. Lunar observatories could unlock new discoveries about distant galaxies, black holes, and the nature of dark matter. The moon has become a focal point for international collaboration and space exploration. Organizations like NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, are working together on the Artemis program. This spirit of cooperation extends beyond traditional space agencies. Private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are also contributing to lunar exploration efforts. The shared goal is to establish a sustainable presence on the moon, and doing so, pave the way for future Mars missions. While the moon's potential for terraforming and colonization is undeniable, Mars still holds a unique allure. It's the planet that has most captured our imaginations as a potential second home. Mars boasts a day-night cycle similar to Earth's, making it more suitable for human habitation. Its thin atmosphere, while challenging, could be transformed into a breathable mix with the right technology. Evidence of liquid water in the planet's past fuels hope that underground aquifers may still exist, providing a crucial resource for future Martian colonists. The Red Planet is also rich in minerals and holds mysteries about the possibility of past or even current life. As we look ahead to the stars, it's clear that both the Moon and Mars offer unique opportunities and challenges for terraforming. 
The cosmic debate continues to evolve as we gather more data and develop new technologies. Perhaps the answer lies in a combination of lunar and Martian exploration. By using the moon as a cosmic training ground, we can refine our techniques for terraforming and colonization. Lessons learned from lunar missions could be applied to future Martian endeavors, ensuring the success and sustainability of human settlements on both celestial bodies. The cosmos beckons, and our destiny among the stars grows ever closer. The moon or Mars, or perhaps both, will play pivotal roles in humanity's expansion into the cosmos. As we tread this path, we must carefully consider which celestial neighbor holds the key to our cosmic future. NASA's Artemis program, named after the Greek goddess of the moon, is spearheading our return to the lunar surface. With plans to establish a sustainable human presence by 2024, Artemis aims to lay the groundwork for future lunar colonization. Perhaps we should take a lesson from our lunar neighbor. The moon can serve as an invaluable stepping stone, a cosmic training ground for humanity's interplanetary aspirations. The cosmic debate continues, moon or Mars for terraforming? Each celestial body offers a unique canvas for humanity's expansion into the cosmos. As we tread the path to the stars, we must carefully consider which celestial neighbor holds the key to our cosmic future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.